My wife Betty and I decided to plant 20 hectares of farm here in Springfield, County Limerick about 20 years ago with broadleaf species as an ideal complement to the rest of the farm, including the hospitality business we have here. Well, we wanted to diversify the income on the farm, so there were the forestry grants, the forest premier, and then eventually we knew there would be a firewood supply and finally saw log. But we also wanted to provide recreational opportunities for our guests. Well, we started active management of our forest here when the trees were about eight metres tall and we got great assistance from our local forestry advisor from Chagusk, Jonathan Spatsy, and he explained to us how, when and which trees to favour and it's really stood to our woodland here. For effective production of hardwoods, the selection of vigorous quality trees earlier on is essential. To assist owners with the cost of early thinnings, the Woodland Improvement Grant Scheme, funded by the Department of Agriculture, is at hand. Operations include the removal of poorer quality trees and the high pruning of selected better quality trees, all of which will ensure fast growth of fine timber. After discussing um, continuous cover forestry with Jonathan Spatsy from Chagusk, we decided to go for the system. There's a grant involved and we engaged the services of Podrico Tuma, CCF Forester. I started working with Jonathan here in 20, 2019. Uh, so far we've carried out one transformation thinning where we selected the best quality trees. We're also encouraging the existing natural regeneration that you see behind me, but we're under planting Douglas for as well for diversity and future trees. For the second thinning, we already had a forest road in place, so once felling licence and woodland improvement scheme approval was received, we put together a harvesting plan and timber sale. We selected all the quality trees for long-term retention, marked the competing trees for removal. Uh, we used the conventional uh, harvester and forwarder units to cut and extract the timber to the roadside. I found this was more economical and efficient than the chainsaw and quad system that was used previously. We extracted about 30 cubic metres per hectare, which was used for firewood. Some was used in our own boiler and the rest was sold to a local firewood dealer. It's important to appreciate the difference between commercial firewood lengths and firewood for home use. The first needs to be 3 metres in length and of a minimum 10 centimetre diameter at the small end. This is to facilitate lorry transportation and mechanical cutting and splitting. In the second case, firewood for home use, we have greater flexibility and the dimension of the lengths really depends on the equipment available to each woodland owner. Firewood is a great source of income when your broadleaf forest is young, but a broadleaf forest can do so much more than that. For example, we've just made a kitchen dresser from our own thinnings and we look forward to continuing to thin our broadleaf woodlands. <laughs>